potassium silicate batteries. Not many people have actually heard of potassium silicate batteries. I personally haven't seen a whole lot of news about them, but these batteries could apparently revolutionize electric cars, mobile phones. And I've said that many times before, but this is quite an interesting technology. And here are the details behind potassium silicate batteries. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. If you can support us on Patreon, that would be phenomenal. Even just a very, very small amount, even just like $2 a month. All of that actually adds up and it makes this channel possible. It makes, gives me the potential to actually do this as a full-time job, which is what I absolutely love doing. The rise of potassium silicate batteries has not really been talked about. Lithium ion batteries, right? Lithium ion phosphate in particular, which has now taken over uh, standard so-called lithium ternary batteries, which are the, the kind of batteries that you guys in mostly produce in the United States. Well, in China, lithium ion phosphate batteries now represent 70% of the market. However, a lot of alternatives are popping up. And lithium, it's true, it's, you know, it's, it's still not cheap, even though the price is at an all-time low right now. Alternatives such as sodium are cheaper. There are additional um, obstacles with lithium batteries, of course, and that's one of the reasons why potassium silicate, a plentiful and safe environmental resource, is possibly a really good idea for batteries. There is a patent on developing a new class of solid state electrolytes. In terms of chemical composition, they're very similar to feldspar and simple crystallities, said Dr. Kosh Kalam, who has this patent on this technology. Now, apparently, raw materials can be readily found for potassium silicate in common rocks and pebbles, and this is one of the most abundant minerals on Earth. They potentially, these types of batteries potentially offer a sustainable and cost-effective solution for energy storage, particularly because these can be used in solid-state batteries. Solid-state batteries can be much more energy-dense than traditional electrolyte batteries. So potentially replacing the, the liquid electrolyte with a solid electrolyte, that makes the batteries a little bit safer, but much higher in terms of energy density. In terms of ionic conductivity, they're very similar to solid-state lithium-based electrolytes when it comes to potassium ones. When it comes to energy density, it's very similar. Charging speed is a little bit a little bit slower though than, than solid state lithium batteries. However, one of the things with solid state batteries is we know that they're quite expensive to manufacture. So any way to get that cost down, such as using potassium silicate, could potentially make solid state batteries more viable for EVs and for energy storage as well. It's significantly safer and more environmentally friendly because we don't use toxic materials like cobalt or nickel, said the inventors of this battery. Now, that's all a bit of hoo-ha, a bit of nonsense, because to be honest, lithium ion phosphate batteries represent now the majority of the market, and the market is moving towards lithium ion phosphate. I believe over the next 10 years, not much of the market will be anything except LFP batteries, except for companies like Tesla with 4680 cells. Still, that's where it's going, and you don't need nickel and cobalt in those types of batteries. However, the big issue here is, are solid state batteries even commercially viable right now? Well, Samsung says they are, and right now you can actually buy Samsung batteries using solid state that are apparently being put in EVs right now. But it's still a big challenge, and solid state batteries are difficult to manufacture on a large scale due to fragile ceramic layers used in the electrolyte. One of the biggest challenges of solid state batteries is the fragile nature of those ceramic layers Apparently, companies are trying to find out solutions to fix that. So not only will these batteries, these solid state batteries, be cheaper than lithium ion solid state batteries, they will potentially um, solve some of the industry's current challenges. Now, guys, realistically, the company is saying we're still looking at three to four years to commercialization. That could be a lot longer. We know Toyota, we know Nissan have been saying, yeah, we're going to have solid state batteries next year. They've been saying this for many years, especially Toyota. They're saying they're going to have them in 2027, 2026, but they said that in 2020, they'll have them as well. Really, the thing is here, are potassium 
batteries, base solid state batteries really going to happen? Are they really cheap enough? Are they really gonna be mass produced? I don't know about that. However, if they can reduce the price of a solid state battery by say 30%, then I see these batteries making sense. That could mean, right, that instead of a solid state battery only going into really high end electric cars, we could see them in more affordable electric cars. And potentially that would mean you know, much faster charging, you're talking five minute fast charging, you're talking about energy density up to a thousand watt hours per kilogram, meaning a range of, you know, potentially up to a thousand miles on one battery that's relatively affordable. That sounds amazing. It sounds all a bit too good to be true, but it will eventually happen. It's really just a matter of time.